You see Obama post his summertime uh, playlist? And then one of the members of Boy Genius called him a war criminal? <laughs> yes, I did see that. <laughs> I was just checking. I'm a millennial. I thought it was cool at first when Obama posted his reading list and his, his summer jams. Because you're like, he's just like us. But now I'm like, there is a part of me, and I think everybody agrees, which is like, why? Who cares? Like, I just don't understand. Why do I need to know that this year, he, Obama's been bumping celebration by Cool and the Gang? It's completely irrelevant. Bro, you were the president. Can you tweet something like of merit? I don't understand. Why do I need to know anyone's opinion? Well, I just, I'd like to think that people would put my ass on blast if I paid someone to build like a fucking graphic that's like, here's my summer jam and it had like a pastel kaleidoscope thing behind it. And like, I think you would be like, why are you taking yourself so fucking seriously? Or why, maybe why not take yourself a little bit more seriously? You used to be the, the leader of the free world. And now you're like, check it out. I'm listening to BB Adubi or something like that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, why, why are you posting it? Our CEO shared his summer playlist with the company today. It had eight songs on it. That's so good. I can't imagine for what purpose, but... <laughs> Michael Scott vibes. Well, I honestly feel like, yes, the CEO sharing his summer playlist is, is Michael Scott vibes. But I also feel like Obama sharing his summer playlist is Michael Scott vibes. Like, can you imagine what kind of... And I, I was going to use harsher language. But can you imagine bumping some tracks at home and then your spouse is like what's this and then you're like oh this is obama barack obama's 2023 summer jam playlist like what kind of person is like i gotta go home and build like a spotify playlist immediately and bump this shit in the kitchen like it's <laughs> why are you listening to uh car wash a song that came out 44 years ago oh um <laughs> Barack Obama just rizzed up Car Wash on his Summer Jams playlist. So, honestly, I think I'm getting in. I'm getting in pretty early here. It's just weird, man. Oh, you think he's getting paid by Spotify? All right, I love that for him. What's your Peloton Jams for this year? Um, if I was going to make a Summer Jam playlist, here's, here's the Summer Jam playlist right now, okay? Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover by Sophie B. Hawkins. Just like, he Just like Heaven by The Cure. Folks, let me be clear. I'll respect you if F the police is on it. See, the Mouth can verify this, by the way. Frick the Police is not on my Summer Jam playlist, but I did have an NWA poster in my room in my third and fourth year of um, university. Because I was bumping straight out of Compton. Pretty much like every day. And skipping like seven of the tracks, but not the good ones. That's so funny. Why is it funny that I like good music? Why would you be surprised that I, that I listen to NWA? Because you're bald and pale? Harassed and racist? I'm going to call a drone strike. Sorry, I'm still, in, I'm just doing my Obama impression still. <laughs> I forgot. Hey, hey, we'll go. We're, okay, uh, folks, I'm leaving now. All right, okay. Here we are. I'm back. What did I miss? Egg is sap. Tell a friend. So true. Folks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that. Is that a reference to um, John Keats? I'm bald and pale, so I'm not familiar with all this, these so-called rap artists. I think rap is crap, personally. It doesn't take any talent. It's just talking. You know what takes talent is, is singing a tune that'll bend your ear. Something like, Camp Town Races, sing this song, do da, do da. Camp Town Races, 10 miles long, all the live long day. Oh, I've never had a level three lioness win? Says the guy who can't sing. Excuse me, the streets are saying that I can sing now. They are. The streets are saying I can, I can sing. I'm not saying I agree. I'm just saying it's what the streets are saying. What street? Sesame Street? There's some good songs on Sesame Street, so I take your joke and I substitute my own. 
I'm not talking about sunny day, sweeping the clouds away on my way to where the air is sweet. Won't you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? I'm talking about uh, Billy Porter, Friends with the Penguin. I am certainly not talking about... Um, I mean, if, listen, I know that Common is a very beloved rapper, and I, I got some love for Common's early to mid discography, but he did make the corniest song in Sesame Street history. The one that is um, Belly Breathe. Hang on. I don't know. This might get DMCA'd. Wait, it's on PBS. Your tax is paid for this. I should be able to play it. Belly Breathe Sesame Street song. 827 views three years ago. Sometimes the monster that's inside you is a monster that is mad. It's a monster who is angry. It's a monster who feels bad. Brother, you wrote, I used to love her. Listen to this flow, dude. What happened? When your monster wants to throw things and your monster wants to shout, there's a way to calm your monster and chill your inner monster out. Belly breathe, gonna breathe right through it, belly breathe. This is how you do it, breathe. Gonna breathe right through it, belly breathe. This is how you do it. Put your hands on your tummy, now you're ready to begin. Put your hands on your belly and you're slowly breathing. Pop a breathe, belly, belly, pop a, pop a breathe. Belly, belly, breathe. Let your belly go out and in and in and out. And you start to calm down. Anyway, you get the idea. Maybe, maybe you don't. We'll make you make a mad monster face in any place, and your mad monster may appear at any time in any place, and that mad monster will make you make a mad monster face. He makes you want to push. He makes you want to shove. There's a way to calm that monster. Bring out the monster love. It's so like not. He's just is beneath him. As long, I'm not saying being on Sesame Street is beneath a serious artist. I'm just saying he, he needed to bring he needed to bring something a little bit more serious, man. Like that's just He's cracked. What are you he's not cracked? I'm sorry, he's not He's not. I, I wish that it was it was different, but it isn't. Oh man, what do you want him to do? Well, dude, you want to, while we're here, hang on. Oh, that you can't make a good song on Sesame Street? Okay. How about Billy Porter, Friends with a Penguin? I saw somebody I didn't know, I felt shy. Afraid to say hi, I wasn't sure she'd like me, then I tried. Hi. Hi. Want to play tag? Are you hearing this? Forgive it, I'll try. Compared to what, what Common's putting out there? Your mad monster may appear at any time or any place, and that mad monster may make you make a mad monster face. It makes you want to push. It makes you want to shove. There's a way to calm your monster. Bring the monster love. Belly breathe. Bring do 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 do. You know, like it's just. I don't know if he wrote the song. Also, like I don't know if maybe the Sesame Street writers came to him and said, like, this is the song we got for you. In which case, like, I apologize to Common. I'm just saying, like, it's lower than the level I would expect a Common track to be at. You need to take the L on that one? The song is horrible, brother. It's so bad that Obama put it on his summer playlist, okay? Appeal to authority, technically. It's an inverted appeal to authority, so it's not a fallacy. Chat really be like... F you, you idiot, you suck and you're stupid. And then I'm like, you're mean. And they're like, that's an ad hominem attack. <laughs> oh, stone me. Stone man. Buys a stone each time he can sell me. It became level three lioness stone man. Is that even how it goes? Oh, it's Friday. It's the first full work week I've had in a while. 
Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-